What's up guys? Back with another video today. Looking a little bit darker. I'm back from my trip to Maui. But we've been working in the sun. And I lost my hat. Uh, I lost my hat and my glasses. So look at me. Whee! We're on to concept now. Whee! What's up guys? Yep. My training partner is back. So he was back last night. Uh, he trained a little bit. I, I rode with him yesterday. Still, even though he never trained, he still busts me up, even though he's going slow motion. So, good to have him back. Um, I know, kind of hard. He just just got home from work, like, I don't know, like 30 minutes ago. So, I guess that's the life of a working professional, you know, especially he's working out in the sun all day. So, it's going to be kind of a push, especially Thursday is the, the hardest day of concept because Maya pushes everybody hard. We get our guests from other other schools coming in, so we all push together, yeah. But um, ah, I know he'll do well. I I I uh, confident of that. So last night we had we had Kavai uh, teach the the class. It was a it was a good turnout. Um, our friends from my friend from Kansas and his son were there. <laughs> I was kind of surprised because. My friend's son is pretty, pretty big. He's a he's a strong wrestler too. So, and then we had a we had a surprise visit from uh, from Dewey. I guess Dewey came to check it out. He was asking about it and stuff. So, always happy to see Dewey. So he's a he's a super cool guy. Really, really good good friend. So, I was watching this podcast. I was listening to this podcast today on uh, BJJ Mental Models. And it, the guy was talking, he was kind of an interesting guy, you know, he was, I think he's like a, when he said yoga for BJJ, but he started talking a lot about teaching principles and teaching concepts and how to teach and stuff. And one of the topics he started to talk about was like, do kind of less talking and more like, you know, having the students just try to, try to uh, execute what you, what you show them. So he said, you know, like if you talk to them for like five, ten minutes, after a while they kind of get lost, yeah. So, you know, if you ask them later on, oh, what did we cover and they can't remember, then you know your message is not really go going through. So maybe you're teaching too much, right? Like any anybody, there's limitations on how much uh, your brain can absorb. Yeah, some of us are better at it than others, you know. But especially, I think he was, a lot of what he was talking about was people brand new, to um, jujitsu, right? He called it the the white belt curse, which I've heard the blue belt curse, right? The blue belt where you get your blue belt and you never show up. But I guess there's a he came up with a fact about the white belt curse where 90% of people that come to their first class never come back. Yeah. So I don't know if it's a mix between being intimidated. I think he he also talked about the idea that. A lot of people don't like to feel like they're dumb, right? You come to jujitsu and they don't, they just don't get it. They don't know, right? Because in a lot of schools, it's not, you know, if you come in, you're just jumping in at, you know, 50 miles per hour. You're not, you're not coming in in the slow lane, right? Because it's kind of hard, right? If the majority of the class is, is old timers, and then you're a first day student, unless you get paired up with somebody who's been around the block, it's kind of hard to figure out what's going on, yeah. We talk about it a lot where, you know, we don't even break down the the, the basic warm-ups, yeah? So that makes it a little little challenging. Like when, with me and Carton now, we don't even do warm-ups. We, we tell students, eh, you guys like warm-up, come early, stretch out, right? So we like to spend as much t time possible just teaching, yeah? I think that's where the benefit comes in. I mean, you want to do stretching, you can stretch anytime, right? But you want to learn jujitsu. You know, that's that small minute moment of time we can have with you. That's where we kind of teach you. So, kind of interesting. I, I, I get a lot of uh, new ideas and some thought-provoking stuff from those podcasts. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Anyway, getting my mind right for that comp class. It's always a push. Yeah, it's, a lot of it's mental. You're tired. Body's tired. You know, you got to push. Getting ready for that tournament so we're officially in august and we're four four weeks out so let's go let's get it catch you
you guys on the next one. High heart rate rounds.